Welcome to another great lesson. Today, I'll be showing you the steps involved in creating this awesome tree. But before we get into it, if you love art and you're not there now, then come over to montmart.net and check out our Montmart TV. There's tons and tons of lessons there, as well as our Facebook, Instagram, and our Creative Connection attached to it also. And if you subscribe to our Creative Connection, then we'll send you lots of free stuff. So let's get into it and paint a tree. So to start our tree, I'm going to tint the canvas a sky color. Now, normally I would lay that sky color in around the tree afterwards. But as I'm going to drizzle my paint on a la Pollock style, that would be impossible. Now the colours for my sky are phthalo blue and titanium white. Now this won't give me a very realistic sky colour, but an improbable sky colour can only help. So let's get it on! As I sometimes like to do, I squeeze the paint out of the tube directly onto the canvas. As well as being a lot more direct, this brush paint application is kind of like the painter's way of stretching before exercise. It loosens one up before the real painting begins. Give it a little bit of a spray with some water. This water spray bottle is the key to being able to smoothly blend acrylics like oil. And spread it out with the 75ml Taclon. Keep your paintbrush moving and don't stop the brush in the middle of the painting or an unsightly mark is created. Just bring the white down into the phthalo. The brush needs to be quite soft as well. This is why the Taclon filament is perfect for this. If you keep going, you can achieve a very smooth transition. Well, there you go. That's a really great way using water to blend paint so it has that oil paint look. So let that dry and we'll create our tree. Well, the first step is to print out the tree in the PDF that you can find at montmart.net in the appropriate lesson. Once we have this, we can use it really just as a guide on where the tree should occupy the canvas. So just follow your own instincts there. As I said, I have provided a PDF of a tree, but this is just a rough guide really. Once you start drawing, just follow your instincts and let them guide you. I guess the only thing to bear in mind is to remember that branches get thinner as they move out to the ends of each one. To draw up our initial rough lines of the trees, I'm going to use the trusty t-shirt marker. Now this humble little tool is a perfect accessory for your paint box. In fact, it's a necessity, I think. I've been using them for a while and they mark on anything. Once our tree is roughed in, and that literally took a minute, take out some Payne's Grey in the Silver Series, a tumbler, and a Montmartre number 17 palette knife. And this is important because we'll be using this a little bit later in the project too. And it's good because it's nice and long so you can dip it into your tumbler and it can be cleaned in between colors. So into this tumbler, lay in one knuckle. So that's up to my first joint of my finger. And we then very roughly apply it. Now don't worry if it's too dark because we'll be putting lighter colors on top of it. This colour is quite dark, but it has a lot more warmth in it than black. It's just important to get that texture. This particular palette knife is capable of moving a lot of paint when used on its side. It's just a really fun way to apply paint. So while the main body is still drying, I'm going to lay in a few more of the tiny, tiny little branches with the t-shirt marker. I think this adds real interest, so let's lay these in. Again, don't think too much about placement. Just let the piece flow. Mix the lines up a little. Do curvy lines, then straight lines as well. The one thing is, 
make sure no pattern formulates because that doesn't happen in nature. This fine detail adds real interest, I think. Well, the fine detail is in. And the next step is I'd like to add a little bit of colour just into that trunk so it doesn't look so stark and dark. To do that, I'm using the Silver Series Raw Umber and Burnt Umber. I'm going to put it into my little blue vessel again and I'm going to apply it with the number 17 palette knife again. So let's get this paint on. As with any of these projects, it's good to try to add some of your own flair to them. You might like the look of the tree in its dark form, sort of like an old spooky tree. These browns provide warmth and in fact, when you add the colour, you are actually suggesting any areas that are bathed in light. So, in this stage, I'm just laying a little bit of black in because I felt that I'd lost some of those darks. And I'm mainly just doing it on this one side because the light is coming from this side. So I'm trying to loosely suggest that. Well, I'm going to leave the bark at that, and now we can put the flowers on. So, for the flowers of my jacaranda tree, I'm going to use some Montmartre Dimension Purple, because this purple's just right when it's mixed with titanium white. I'm also going to put a little bit of cadmium yellow in the Silver Series, because I think that yellow and purple are fantastic friends. To lay these flowers in, we're going to get a bit Jackson Pollock and drizzle the flowers on. So one very important thing is to lay down a sheet because we're going to be doing it on the floor. This is really important because acrylic paint is very tenacious and will adhere to almost anything. So it is always a good idea to take precautions against what might happen. I'm using an old canvas, but a drop sheet would be good as well. Create a mauve from one part purple in the dimension range to one part titanium white in the silver series range. Add water and mix it in till it's the viscosity of thickened cream. You don't really need a step ladder, but you get more of a splattery, exciting, unpredictable result the further the distance from the canvas. I think this is the most exciting part of the project. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun to create, and I hope you can create your own tree. And if you haven't joined our Creative Connection yet, then don't forget to do that, because it's fantastic. And remember to always keep on painting. See you next time.